Hello everyone, it's your boy Alexis Sioko or Alexander and today I'll be talking about William and what his pigeons may symbolize. William is a great yet misunderstood character and I wanted to make an entire video about him. Everyone sees that he complains about work all the time and has anger issues. But a lot of people in this fandom don't see further than this. They don't see that William is in fact a very sad and overworked man that just had enough of everything. He deserves better. Let's get to the analysis. William and his dispatch use pigeons to deliver messages, as pigeons are considered the messengers of gods in many cultures. William is often portrayed with pigeons in the manga and in extra drawings Yana made. Pigeons and birds in general can symbolize and are associated with many, many things. I don't think Yana was thinking of all of them, but some surely are related to William on a certain level. Freedom, death, heaven, peace, and even love are some of the things I'll be talking about in this video. Let's start with freedom. Everyone knows the expression free as a bird. Knowing that William is a very stressed man, his pigeons may represent that he feels trapped, like a bird in a cage, and wants to be free as pigeons are. Maybe that's the reason why he killed himself in the first place. He wanted to escape because he felt trapped in his own life. Pigeons are also seen as the souls of the dead that found their freedom after death. In Hinduism, pigeons are associated with a lot of gods, being considered their messengers. One of these gods is Yama, the god of death and justice, the one that judges the souls of the dead and punishes the sinners, and also the first human that died. He also uses a weapon or a noose to catch the souls for judgment. Although the Shinigamis in Black Butler don't send people to heaven or hell in the original story, there are a lot of similarities. William being associated with pigeons is similar to the way Sebastian is associated with cats. Sebastian is also associated with dogs, but in a different way. Cats are independent, dogs are submissive. Sebastian loves cats, but he is rather like a dog. So just as Sebastian looks up to cats, William looks up to pigeons. Also both cats and dogs eat birds, just like Sebastian eats souls and William wants to prevent him from doing this. Pigeons can also fly high in the sky, which may suggest heaven as heaven is often referred to as up there or in the sky. Also William's middle name, Takaeda, means high branches. It may be about his position in the Shinigami dispatch, it may be about his extendable pruner that is used for trimming high branches, or it may be about William wanting to go up to heaven, a place without stress or pain, where everything is peaceful, as pigeons also symbolize peace. His life, his afterlife as a Shinigami, he just had enough of both of these. If we talk about the word up or high in English, we can also think about something that's more accessible to William, aka getting high or drunk or wanting to get high or drunk to forget about his problems. Another thing pigeons symbolize is love, speaking about William and emotions. In appearance, William is a cold man that tries not to get emotionally involved in his job. However, he expresses his emotions a lot when he complains about overtime. What I think is that William is afraid of his emotions and he doesn't want to let himself feel them. We men are expected to be always strong and not to show our emotions, and if we show vulnerability, we're often seen as weak and not in control. William tries to be in control as much as possible. Like all the Shinigamis in Black Butler, he committed suicide, so I think he's afraid of his emotions because he's not in control of them. William very obviously hates Sebastian, and he doesn't even want him near. I think the overtime is not the only reason. William said how demons tempt humans taking advantage of their pain and despair. He also said how he doesn't want to touch Sebastian because he doesn't want to be debauched by Sebastian's hands. At first glance, that part of the manga makes William look reckless, even immature in a way. And he's usually none of these things. You're probably gonna say he's reckless because he can't sneak in properly. But, unlike Ciel, I don't think that's the case. Go around talking about demons and telling people you're a dead god. See how many will actually believe you. Despite his rage fits, William is not reckless and he is not immature. So that part with William avoiding touching Sebastian at any cost made me think, how much is he actually in control? And how easily can he fall into temptation if he was avoiding so hard to even touch hands with the demon for a performance? Speaking about William and temptation, isn't it a bit weird how casual Grail is behaving around him? 
and how she flirts with him with every occasion she gets. Grell, that's your boss. I already talked about William's interactions with Grell in one of my previous videos. I didn't go into details with it as I was talking about all the Shinigamis we have more information about. So let's get into details now. We know Grell loves William. Actual love, not just sexual attraction. We know she's always happy to see him and to be around him, no matter the occasion. We know Grell flirts with William all the time and tells him how horny his sadistic side makes her. This behavior requires a level of comfort you won't expect someone to have with their boss, even for Grell. It may even be considered intrusive on a degree. And yes, William is not the only one Grell flirts with, however, compared to Sebastian and Otello, he's the only one that gives her what she wants. They were in the same class, they know each other very well. So William is definitely aware of the fact that Grell hates being ignored. And despite his apparent cold attitude towards her, he rarely ignores her. He keeps turning Grell on, hitting her, also with every occasion he gets. If he wanted her to stop, he could just ignore her. I mean, we saw he did it once and it worked. William knows exactly what he's doing. It's true that sometimes he beats Grell even when she doesn't want it as a form of punishment, which is problematic. However, Grell is also problematic sometimes. Like in this moment when she saw how stressed William was, yet she was like, Weiru, you came for me. There are problematic behaviors from both sides, and none of them seem to hold back in front of each other, even if they are able to hold back with others and to act more rational. Which makes me think William and Grell are closer than they appear, closer in more than one way. Judging by all the interactions we saw between these two, I'm pretty sure William sleeps with Grell, but he doesn't like that he can fall into temptation this easily. It may be William's coping mechanism, as that stress has to go somewhere. It may be his desire of being in control, as Grell tends to be more submissive, in a way, only with William. It's also possible that William feels comfortable opening up and being more vulnerable with Grell, as they know each other for a long time. But after all, we never saw how Grell and William interact when nobody's around. Some fans theorize that William loves Grell back, but he doesn't want to accept it as he fears his emotions. This may also be possible. I just need to see more interactions between these two, before concluding more things. Another thing about William and his pigeons is that spending time with animals can help us release stress. Animals can be very good therapists. And these pigeons seem to be very comfortable on William's shoulder, so I guess he's happy to have their company. He even drawn a pigeon in his notebook. Tell me this is not the cutest thing ever. That was all for this video. Tell me your opinion in the comments and thank you for watching.